Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Morris. I'm a board-certified fertility expert and the medical director here at IVF1 in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. There are many reasons why couples may have difficulty getting pregnant. Couples with infertility should see a fertility specialist and complete a variety of tests on both partners. However, what do you do when all of the tests are normal? Recent studies suggest that one cause for infertility might be inflammation in your body. Inflammation is a process by which the body's white blood cells and the substances they produce protect us from infection and damaged cells. In some cases, however, the body can get confused and produce inflammation when it is not supposed to. A common example of this is arthritis, which is inflammation of the joints. If someone has arthritis, they know it because their joints hurt. Sometimes, however, people don't know they have inflammation going on. Fortunately, a simple blood test called highly sensitive C-reactive protein, or HSCRP, is a sensitive marker for low-grade chronic inflammation. Recently, researchers were studying over 1,200 women who had one or two previous miscarriages and were given low-dose aspirin or placebo before they conceived. The study failed to find a benefit from giving low-dose aspirin. However, when they went back and they looked at the HSCRP levels of those women, what they found was very interesting. Low-dose aspirin did not help women with low HSCRP levels, but if a woman's HSCRP level was higher, then low-dose aspirin resulted in more women getting pregnant and more women having a live birth. Women with the highest HSCRP levels got the most boost from low-dose aspirin. 30 to 35% more live births occurred. Checking for inflammation with an HSCRP level should definitely be a test that you want to get if you're having trouble getting pregnant. If you like this video, remember to like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. Infertility TV is broadcast weekly. Don't miss any episodes. Click here to subscribe. Click here to visit our website where you can register to become a patient.